Everything in the world is made up of matter or stuff. Matter is anything that has weight and takes up space. Everything you can see and touch is made up of matter. Matter exists in three main states, solids, liquids, and gases. Solids are objects that keep their own shape and do not flow. Examples of solids are ice block, desk, apple, pencil. The shape never changes. A liquid takes the shape of the container they are in and can flow. A liquid is something like water, oil, juice. A gas is like air. It can move around freely or flow to fit a container and it doesn't have its own shape. You can put your hand through gases and you won't feel it. Today we're going to be learning about how we can use the air to move things. Air is a gas and we use air to move many things. There's a special word we use to describe how we use air to move things. This is called aerodynamics. Aerodynamics is the way air moves around things. Let's try saying the word together. Aerodynamics. There are so many things that use aerodynamics. Here are some things that uses aerodynamics or air to help it move. Airplanes, rocket ships, kites, birds, race car drivers, and cyclists. All these things use aerodynamics or air to help it move. But today, we're going to be talking about airplanes. Have you ever traveled on an airplane and wondered how it flies so high in the sky? Let's learn more about aerodynamics or the way air moves around things and helps airplanes to fly. The reason why something can move through the air is because of forces. A force is a push or a pull on something to make it move. Back in 1773, a man named Sir George Cayley, English engineer, inventor and aviator, discovered that to fly something or move something through the air, it needed four forces. Sir George Cayley discovered that aerodynamics has four forces that helps it to use air to move things. When a plane is moving through air, it uses four forces called lift, weight, thrust, and drag to help it move. So when you see a plane moving through the sky, it uses the forces of lift, weight, thrust, and drag to help it move. Let's talk about the four forces that help us to move things through the air like an airplane. Lift. Lift is the force or the push that lets something move up. Lift is the force that is the opposite of weight. Everything that flies must have lift. For an aircraft to move upward, it must have more lift than weight. Lift for an airplane comes from its wings. Weight. Weight is the downward force that an aircraft must overcome to fly. Gravity is the force that pulls everything down to earth. If you want to know what the weight of something is, you can calculate it by finding the amount of gravity and multiplying it by how heavy an object is. Thrust. Thrust pushes or moves something forward. Thrust is the force that is the opposite of drag. For an aircraft to keep moving forward, it must have more thrust than drag. A small airplane might get its thrust from a propeller. A larger airplane might get its thrust from jet engines. Drag. Drag is the force that pulls back on something trying to move. Drag provides something called resistance and makes it hard for something to move. For example, it is more difficult to walk or run through water than through air. Water causes more drag than air. The shape of an object also affects the amount of drag. The more air that hits the surface, the more drag the air produces. In our next video, we'll learn more about how the four forces of aerodynamics, lift, weight, thrust, and drag, use air to actually help an airplane to move through the sky. We'll look at our own very special airline of Aotearoa, Air New Zealand, to help us understand aerodynamics. But let's recap what we've learned today about aerodynamics. Aerodynamics is the way air moves around things. Anything that moves through the air uses aerodynamics. Aerodynamics help us to explain how an airplane is able to fly. The four forces of aerodynamics or flight are lift, weight, thrust, and drag. Five examples that use aerodynamics are airplanes, fast cyclists, kites, birds, and fast cars. In our next learning video, we'll learn more about how the four forces of aerodynamics, lift, weight, thrust, and drag 
use air to actually help an airplane to move through the sky. See you next time. I'm a chief feeder. I'm a chief feeder. I'm a chief feeder. I'm a chief feeder.